Hey guys, Shauna here, and I just want to show you how to apply your Thimble Threads Magic Band Plus skin. Now, a few things that you need to know is instructions are included, but with the updated design, most of these have been revised. You'll get an alcohol prep. You might need something like a toothpick. It'll just help you out a little bit. These uh, that come in your bubble mailer are biodegradable. Feel free to stick them in water and they'll go like disappear. And you're gonna need a hair dryer as well as your magic band. So. couple of things. Uh, this is a glow. This is a print. As you can see, there's a little bit of color difference because one absorbs and one kind of floats on top. We're going to be doing our printed skin. So this is the um, application video for the printed skins. If you need the foil ones, if it has the little slits in it, that's foil. If you need glow in the dark, uh, the super sparkle texture, or any of the smooths, this is not the video for you. This is the video for if it's got a printed design on it. Okay. So let's start with your magic band. A few more things to remember. A few more things to remember is that you want to keep your magic band rounded as much as possible. If you ever have the skin on and flex it flat like this, it will cause the skin to lift and pucker. If you do have any lifting and puckering, keep in mind that this like band material does not want to allow things to stick to it. So you do have to work on it a little bit. That's where the heat comes in. Um, if you ever have any doubts at all, more heat. Now, it's important to note that this little thing right here, if you can see right, there's a seam right there right there, you can push this through and this whole little thing on one side pops out and makes it child size. Our skins are designed to cover the part that would be child size, so they're one size fits all just like the bands. Um, so you're gonna start with prepping it with the alcohol, cleaning it, making sure it's dry. I like to start with the whole side, the short side, and roll it away. Now, sometimes the little holes will not come out and sometimes they will. That's where your really handy dandy toothpick comes in. As you're lifting, you can just kind of push them out. It is really that simple. Not a big deal. They are cut, they are perforated. They just don't always, always pop out. Okay, hold the sides. You wanna to touch the backing as little as possible. What I like to do is face it away from me. Line up right around those holes. And then I like to give it one little tack, boom, down flip it away from me, and then you can readjust as you need to, keeping it rounded, lining up my holes as I go up. Now, depending on how much I round this or straighten this depends on where it goes. If you hold it perfectly straight, it goes too far. If you round it too much, it does not go far enough. What I like to do is go, and while I'm flexing back and forth with this band hand, I'm using the thumb of my other hand, going right up to the center, right up to the center, out one side, and you can use your thumb to kind of fudge back and forth to make sure you stay in that kind of colored area, and then out the other side, boom. Now, you will instantly notice that this does not wanna stay on. This is where your heat comes in, okay? You're gonna use the knuckles on your thumbs to really shape it around that raised bevel and then you're going to get your heat okay and it can frequently take a lot more heat than you think it needs to so get it good and warm You really do wanna get them good and warm, almost too warm to the touch, and rub them and hold them until they are cool. Make sure they stay in place because that is gonna allow them to kind of shrink wrap onto the band. Now, let's go ahead and do the next part. Same premise, roll the backing weight. You don't wanna pick at it because it is layers of material and you really don't wanna risk separating those layers. So, backing, line it up just inside the colored area there, flipping it away from me, pulling and stretching as I am working my way up the band. Again, it's designed to sit within that colored area. Bend and flex until I find the spot I wanted to sit. One side, other side and they do have little arms that are designed to overlap in the center okay now again heat
And while it's warm, rub it down, rub it down. As you see, it wants to lift off. Okay, guys, we're just not going to let it. Now, I want you to latch it, but I want you to latch it way over here to where it is almost as maximum bent as it possibly can be, okay? Now, what you need to do is you need to let this sit for about 24 hours. And then I want you to come back and unlatch it carefully so as not to rip your skin around the holes. And then if anything is lifting off at all, I want you to apply more heat, do it again, okay? So you'll come back like this, keep it rounded, don't forget. Oh, I've got a bubble right there. It's lifting off, I don't know if you can see it. Boom, right there. Little heat, guys, little heat. It's that easy, okay? You just hold it till it's cool. That's it. It's that easy. It really is. See, because they want to lift off. So it's important that you allow them to cure to the band, okay? So you want to leave it for like 24 hours. And even then, you want to keep it rounded. You do not want to do it flat. So this is where your toothpick comes in. You can pop this puppy off of the backing. And just like that, kind of push it into place there. Again, heat, 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 heat is always the answer. Heat. Okay. And if you can get it on, get it applied well, allow it to cure, sealing down all of those sides and keep it rounded. This will last for like as long as you need it to last, okay? That is the magic of our Magic Band uh, skins. That's it, it's that simple. Don't flex it back. When in doubt, more heat. If anything lifts or separates, heat, heat, heat. And be sure that you're following the right instructions for your band type. Now, if you run into any problems at all, we do have a troubleshooting video. However, what I want you to do, if you have any questions, concerns, anything at all, set it down, contact us. We respond as fast as humanly possible. Do not continue messing with it. You should never cut anything. It should never overlap any ends. Set it down, walk away, come back to us, okay? Let us help you. We absolutely can always help. But as you can see, that's it. Pretty simple, really, as long as you follow the instructions. A little more involved than peel and stick, but not hard in the slightest, okay?